Okay, welcome back to Genome Tutorial and for today's video, we are now in the 10th example or example number 10 of the first principle derivative. Okay, in number 10, we have y is equal to 5x squared all over by 4x minus 1. Okay, for the example number 1 to example number 9, I will put the link in the description box. Okay, in number 10, again, we have the equation y is equal to 5x squared all over by Okay, 4x minus 1. Okay, for this step number 1, let y is equal to y plus delta y. And let x is equal to x plus delta x. So the y will become y plus delta y is equal to 5. Okay, x plus delta x raised to 2 all over by 4x minus 1. I mean now uh, 4x okay, plus delta x minus 1. Okay, the next step is to transpose the y to the other side. So the y here, the positive y here, is will become negative y in the other side. So the delta y is equal to 5x plus delta x raised to 2 all over by 4x plus delta x minus 1 minus y, where y is equal to 5x raised to 2 all over by 4x minus 1. So the next step is to divide both sides by delta x okay the next step okay the next step is to simplify this one okay to simplify this one is gagamit lang tayo ng butterfly method where in butterfly method is used to add or subtract the two fraction okay i hope you already know that technique or method we have five x plus delta x raised to 2 multiplied by 4x minus 1 minus 5x squared multiplied by 4 okay x plus delta x minus 1 all over by delta x uh, multiplied by 4 x plus delta x minus 1 okay multiply by 4 x minus 1 so the delta y over delta x is equal to 5x squared Okay, the next step is to distribute in this part and then expand. So, 5x squared plus okay, 2x delta x plus delta x raised to 2. Okay, multiply by 4x minus 1 minus 5x to the second. Multiply by 4x plus 4 delta x minus 1. All over by the denominator. Just copy the denominator. Okay, so the delta y over delta x is equal to 5 okay we have 4 x cube plus 8 x squared delta x plus 4 x okay delta x raised to 2 okay minus okay x squared minus 2 x delta x minus okay delta x raised to 2 Okay, minus 5, 5, x raised to 2 multiplied by 4, x plus 4, delta x minus 1. And copy the denominator again. So, the delta y over delta x is equal to, okay, it's too long. <laughs> So is equal to 5 times 4 is 20. 20 x cube plus 5 times 8 is um, 40. 40 x squared delta x plus 5 times 4 again is 20 x. Okay, delta x is 2 2. Okay, minus 5 times uh, x squared is 5 x squared. Minus 5 times 2 is 10 x delta x minus 5 delta x raised to 2 minus 5 okay just uh, distribute the 5x squared dito so that is equal to 5x squared multiplied by 4x is 20x cube okay minus 20 again 20x uh, squared delta x minus I mean negative multiply by negative is positive so positive 5x squared and then just copy the mediator Okay, as you can see, pwede tayo mag-cancel out now. 20x cube. Pwede rin ang... Um, okay, 5x squared. So, ayun lang. Pwede pa ba? 
So, ayun lang. So, ang natira is So, ang natira is So, delta y over delta x is equal to We have uh, 40x squared delta x Okay? Minus 20x squared delta x is equal to 20 x is worth delta x Okay? Plus 20 x okay delta x squared minus 10 x delta x minus 5 delta x squared and then ayun lang all over by the denominator so denominator is equal to uh, delta x okay multiply by okay 4 x plus then uh, okay 4 delta x minus 1 multiply by 4 x minus 1 okay by the way we can cancel out also the delta x so factor out lang natin yung isang delta x sa numerator so, tanggalin na natin yan. Isa dito, isa dito, then isa dito. So, the last and final step is to find the limit. So, to find the limit, we have the definition 2.1 or the first principle, which is the f prime of x is equal to the limit. The limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches to zero. So, the f prime of x is equal to the limit of 20 x squared plus 20 x delta x minus 10 x minus 5 delta x all over by 4 x plus 4 delta x minus 1 okay multiply by 4 x minus 1 as delta x approaches 0 so the f prime of x is equal to 20 x squared plus 20 x multiplied by 0 minus 10 x minus 5 multiplied by 0 all over by 4 x plus 4 multiplied by 0 okay minus 1 multiply by a uh, 4 x minus 1 so to simplify it we have the f prime of x is equal to 20 x squared minus 10 x so 0 na lang yan eh at pati ito so the denominator is 4 x minus 1 multiplied by 4 x minus 1 is 4 x minus 1 raised to 2 okay so the final answer is 10 x multiply by x minus 1 all over by 4 x minus 1 raised to 2 so this is the final answer if you want to recheck it using the uh, formula let's see try natin so by the use of formula kagamitin ko yung d8 o yung formula number 8 ng derivative dito sa ating libro so again for the equation we have y is equal to 5 x squared all over by 4 x minus 1 so the y prime or the derivative of this equation is equal to 4 x minus 1 multiply by okay 5 times 2 is 10 x okay minus minus uh, 5 x squared multiply by the derivative of the denominator which is a uh, 4 all over by 4 x minus 1 raised to 2 so the y prime is equal to 4 times 10 is equal to 40 x multiplied by x is x squared minus 10 x minus 20 5 times 4, 20x squared, all over by 4x minus 1 raised to 2. So the y prime is equal to 40x squared minus 20x squared is equal to 20x squared minus 10x, all over by 4x minus 1 raised to 2. So the y prime is equal to, factor out natin yung 10x, we have 10x multiplied by 2, aha, uh -huh, diba? Kapa pala no, 2, let's have factor out natin ano yan. Okay, sorry for that. So, 2x minus 1 all over by 4x minus 1 raised to 2. So, ayun. Look at the difference between the long method and the short method. <laughs> yes. That's it. Okay. So, ito na yung end na solution natin sa number 10. And... And uh, I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to click the like and hit the notification bell. And also hit the subscribe button. Okay. See you next time and goodbye.